All right, students, we are on page 467. This is Lesson 22, Session 2, Representing Data on a Line Plot. All right, so 10 students in Miss Holbrook's class are growing plants. One day, they measure the heights of the plants in inches. The heights are shown below. Make a line plot to represent the data, okay? So first we have to give our line plot a title, and it says that they are measuring heights of plants. So our title will be heights of plants. We need a line, and then we need to label our line. So it says that they are in inches. So um, this is going to be height in inches. When I'm making a line plot, the first thing I do is I look at my data and I find the smallest and the biggest number. So obviously one is smaller than two, so we have one and seven eighths. Oh, but here's a one and one fourth, which is smaller. 2, 2, 1 and 7 eighths, 1 and 1 half, well 1 fourth is smaller than 1 half, and 1 and 7 eighths. So it looks like this one right here is the smallest. Then I go through and I find the biggest. So 2 and 1 half, 2 and 5 eighths, which is bigger than 2 and 1 half, 2 and 1 eighth, which is smaller, 2 and 1 eighth. So this one is the largest, okay? So our line plot is, I'm going to start it on one and one fourth because that's the biggest, or that's the smallest, and I'm going to end it on two and five eighths, which is the largest. Now here's an issue though. We have a four here and an eight here. So that means it's gonna be confusing when we go to add our, our tick marks between. So what I do, because this is an eight, I know that I can turn a four into an eight by multiplying by two. So that means it would be one and two eighths. So I'm going to um, do my tally marks with eights. So if this is one and two eighths, we would have one and three eighths, one and four eighths, one and five eighths, one and six eighths, one and seven eighths, one and eight eighths, which would be two. And then we would have two and one eighths, two and two eighths, two and three eighths. My line's a little long. Two and four eighths. And I'm actually going to move this one over here. Two and five eighths. Okay. So now I can go through and I can label each one if I want to. And I can label them with either the fourths or the eighths. I think it would be easier to eighths because we can easily convert them over. So two and one, one and one fourth. This would be one and one half or two fourths or four, or I'm sorry. F oh, this would be one and two eighths, or three eighths, one and four eighths, one and five eighths, one and six eighths, one and seven eighths, two is the same as one and eight eighths, two and one eight, two and two eighths, two and three eighths, two and four eighths. Now, I'm going to go through each one of these and I'm going to mark them on here. So the first one is two and one half. One half is the same thing as four eighths. So I'm gonna mark that one. One and seven eighths, right there. One and seven eighths again. One and one fourth. Two and five eighths. Two and one eighth. One and seven eighths. One and one half. One half is the same as four eighths. 
one and seven eighths, two and one eighth. Okay, now I have all of my data marked on my um, on my blind plot here, and you can see here that almost all of them worked with eighths with the exception of the one-fourth and the one-half and we can easily figure out what one-fourth and one-half is in eighths so that's why it's easier to work with eighths. Okay, let's go ahead and go to page 268. Okay, so right here it's just giving us the problem again. It says you can represent data values that are mixed numbers on a line plot. The number line is divided into eighths from one to three. The first three data values given of two and one half, one and seven eighths, and one and seven eighths are represented with X's above the number line. So it has X's there. Now down here it says you can represent data values that are mixed numbers on a number line plot with a number line divided into eighths and labeled. So you can see here where it looks just like ours did, but they only labeled the first three. They did not label all of them. Okay. Um, over here on 469, um, again, this is just going over the same stuff that we went over. So we're just going to X that one out and skip page 469. And we're going to go to page 470. Okay, on page 470, number 6. The data below shows the length of leaves and in inches that Jill collects. Complete the line plot to display the data. It already has our title, it already has our length in inches, and it already has our numbers for us. So we just have to take these numbers and put them on here. So two and one half, two and one fourth, three and one half, two and three fourths, three, two and one half, two and one half, three. Okay, now they're all on there. Number seven, Al records the length of some fish in inches. M gives all the inches. Make a line plot of the data. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the smallest one, and I can already see here that we have nines and tens as our whole number. So right here I have nine and two eighths, nine and six eighths is bigger, nine and seven eighths is bigger, nine and six eighths is bigger. So nine and two eighths is gonna be my smallest. Then I'm gonna look for my biggest. So 10 and four eighths, 10 and five eighths is bigger, 10, 10 and one eighth, 10 and three eighths. So 10 and five eighths is gonna be my biggest. So I'm gonna make my line plot here. This time I'm gonna start at nine and I'm gonna go to 11, and then 10 is going to be in the middle. So 1 8, 2 8, 3 8, 4 8, 5 8, 6 8, 7 8. 1 8, 2 8, 3 8, 4 8, 5 8, 6 8, 7 8. Okay? So 1, 2, 3. So this is 9 and 4 8. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is 10 and 4 8 and then you can label each one in between if you want. I'm not gonna, so nine and one eight, nine and two eights, nine and three eights, nine and five eights, nine and six eights, nine and seven eights, 10 and one eight, 10 and two eights, 10 and three eights, 10 and four eights, 10 and five eights, 10 and six eights, 10 and 7 eighths, okay? Now I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna mark them out as I label them. So nine and two eighths, which is my smallest, 10 and four eighths, which is right here, 10 and five eighths, nine and six eighths, nine and seven eighths, 10, 10 and one eighth, nine and six eighths, 10 and three eighths. There you go. Okay. Number eight, 
The lengths in feet of some pieces of wood are shown below. Fix the line plot at the right to correctly show the data. Okay, one, one and one fourth, one and one half, one and three fourths, two. Okay, one, we've got one. One and one half, one and one half. Two, two. One and three fourths, one and one half, two. So it was missing an X on one and three fourths. Okay, let's go ahead and go to page 471. If you feel like you're getting the hang of line plots, go ahead and complete 471 and 472 on your own. It's just a couple of problems. If you feel like you're still needing that extra help, you can follow along. All right, on 471, the height of fourth graders is measured on the first day of school and on the last day of school. The growth in inches of some students is below. Complete the line plot below to show the data. Okay, so our first number is 3, 1 and 6 eighths, 2 and 2 eighths, 1 and 4 eighths, 2 and 2 eighths, 2 and 7 eighths. Okay, and that's it. Let's go ahead and go to page 472. <coughs> Micah's dog has eight puppies. The length in inches of each puppy is listed below. Okay. In a line plot, which value will have three X's above it? So that means which one shows up three times? Well, as I'm looking here, I can easily see four and one half, four and one half, four and one half. So that means four and one half will have three X's above it. Could a, number, could a line plot with a number line from 5 to 6 be used to represent the data? Okay. Well, 4 is less than 5. So that answer is no. Because all of the data is between 4 and 5. Draw a line plot to represent the data. Okay, so we're representing this data up here, and we already said it needs to be between 4 and 5. And it looks like they have things blocked out in fourths and halves. Well, I know that I can make a half into 2 fourths, right? So I'm going to make those into 2 fourths. So now let's go ahead and make it. So we're going to do... 4 and 1 half, or 4 and 2 fourths, and then 4 and 1 fourth, 4 and 3 fourths, okay? So our first one is 4, 4 and 3 fourths, 4 and 1 half, or 2 fourths, and there's three of those, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 3 fourths, 4 and 1 fourth, Four. And then this is um, puppy lengths. Can't spell lengths today. And this is length and in inches. Okay. Use the line plot to answer the question. How many measurements are recorded? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What is the longest length of a puppy? Four and three fourths. What is the shortest length of a puppy? Four. How many puppies are less than or equal to four and a half? So less than would be anything this way of four and a half. Equal to would include those. So that means anything that way. So one, two, three, four, five, six. How many puppies are greater than four and one half? But it doesn't say equal to, it just says greater than. So one, two. And that is it for this lesson. I'll see you back for the next one.